Miss Fenty Girl. Okay, you guys, what's up? Good morning, good afternoon, actually. I'm being exposed. It's 12.43 p.m. I have decided that today is my get my shit together day. I'm dressed up, all black, got my little Nikes on, and we are going to be going to Trader Joe's. I really need groceries. I don't even wanna open this because it's kind of embarrassing. I have a tendency to just go to work and then come home and just get fast food or just not eat anything at all. Yesterday, I literally didn't eat anything at all until 8 p.m., and that's a problem. Our first stop is the bank because I gotta cash the check. And I actually really wanna try out Whole Foods because I've never actually been inside of a Whole Foods. I've had cookies from there, which is probably not the best thing to be eating from Whole Foods. I'm excited to go to Trader Joe's because it's going to be the middle of the day, so hopefully nobody's there, and hopefully they have all the things that I need because that's the goal. All right, y'all, I've been talking too much. Let's go. Girl, Mother Nature checked my ass real quick. It is freezing outside. Okay, I need a jacket. <laughs> What are you doing, girl? Okay, y'all, I'm about to go into Trader Joe's. Just parked. The parking lot is like the most packed I've ever seen it, but I have a lot of like essential staples that I get from Trader Joe's. A lot of these aren't considered like the healthiest things. They're just things that I always get from there. I'm trying my best to be like healthier as the days go on, but honey, sometimes Old habits die hard, okay? And that orange chicken and jasmine rice, like that's just not gonna go anywhere and I'm so sorry. Let's go. Wouldn't it be funny if I just left you here though? I love the transition, but I'm always just like, where are you going? Yeah. All right, y'all. I secured the goods. That was a roller coaster. There were people absolutely everywhere. I totally forgot that next week is Thanksgiving. So it makes sense, but I was just like, I thought people would be at work right now. All right, well, I think I'm, oh my God, somebody just pulled up in front of me. Okay, I don't have enough. I have my social battery. My social anxiety is not good enough for this. Okay, <laughs> she's watching me. Okay, I'm back at a different angle. <laughs> Away from that lady. I'm gonna go take my ass to Whole Foods and see what they have in store for me. Hopefully there's less people in there. This is like what it is to have adult fun, having fun inside of a grocery store. Play No Air by Jordan Sparks. Tell me how it's supposed to bring with no air, bitch. Okay, that was my dramatic way of saying that I'm waiting to get air <laughs> for my tire. Brittany? Can I have a eight count meal? For the drink. A peppermint milkshake, but can you do half of the ingredients? And that's it. All right, you're all good to pull forward. Okay, yes, I'm getting Chick-fil-A after all of that. I'm only human, okay? When I went to Chick-fil-A last week, the person that was helping me said that they were going to have a peppermint shake today on Monday. Um, <laughs> fun fact, Chick-fil-A was actually my first job ever when I was 16 years old, and I worked there for like a year and some change. I think the peppermint shake started coming out around the time that I was working there, and it's so funny because a lot of the drinks that are here now, like frosted coffee, frosted lemonade, before they were a thing, we were doing that. Like, just because we worked there and we were bored, we were mixing stuff together. So it's just funny to see that now they're like official drinks. Thank you. I'm excited for this. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I'm back home. I'm gonna do a grocery. I'm gonna do a grocery haul for you guys in a minute, but I just wanted to talk about this and get your advice because I have no idea what I'm doing. A long time ago, probably a year ago, I got this date piercing and I think the cartilage piercing as well. Or maybe it was just the date that I got. I don't remember. I had it in a video from a really long time ago when I went to New York. I got the piercing right before I went to that New York trip. Ever since I got the piercing, everything's been fine for like the first couple of months. I ran out of this. This is the Neil Med Piercing Aftercare Solution. It's a saline solution, which I did not know. It's supposedly like more gentle than the H2 Ocean Solution. I ran out of the saline solution, used what I thought was sea salt, but I'm pretty sure it was table salt in my ear. Ever since then, it's just been a shit show. The piercing bump has just gotten worse. I started crushing up aspirin tablets. I actually still have them in this drawer because I was using them nonstop in my ear to try to get the piercing bump to go down. It was working a little bit, but honestly, I'm kind of fed up with it. I just need something easy and quick to heal this piercing bump with. After you've done all you can. Like, that's what I feel like right now. And I need to stand, okay? I was gonna purchase it off of Amazon, but then I saw a review that was like, this seller is selling us fake H2 Ocean. Like, it's been like a whole drama fiasco with this H2 Ocean spray. I called the shop that originally did my piercing. They don't have any H2 Ocean. They don't have any spray at all. I was like, how? How sway? So I went on the H2 Ocean official website, picked this bad boy up. I actually got a two pack. So I really hope they work. And I just sprayed it in my ear. I've just been like using Q-tips and spraying it. I'm going to treat it like it's a new piercing just to see how it works out for my healing process. So I'm going to spray this twice a day, morning and night, and pray that my piercing bump goes down. Because at this point, I'm just like saying, I have like a tiny one on the back of this one as well, my cartilage. But at this point, I'm like, I'm trying to wear cute jewelry. Like I've been having the piercing jewelry in there for over a year. Like I'm over it. And also I have a third hole piercing that I really want to change the jewelry up. Also, I really want to get my Rook piercing back. Um, when I got diagnosed with my autoimmune stuff, I had to go to the hospital for like eight or nine days. I was in there consecutively and I had to take all of my jewelry out because I had to take like MRI, PET scan, CT scan. Like I literally got every scan in the book and I had to take all my jewelry out. It was before I got the date piercing, thank God, or else it definitely would have closed up. But my Rook closes up so easily. I've had my Rook re-pierced like two times and every single time either the jewelry falls out or if I take my earring out, it literally closes up in like two days. I don't know why. I thought this was a thicker part of the cartilage, but apparently it's not that thick, girl. I really, really love that one. That was my favorite piercing, my rook piercing, and I really want to get my conch piercing right here. A downside to the autoimmune disease that I have, sarcoidosis, by the way, I've said that already. <laughs> it's basically, I joke that it's my second personality trait, but like really though. But basically because of it, it affects my skin as well and I cannot get any more tattoos. This is the last tattoo I think I got before I could not get any more. And it sucks because right when I got diagnosed, I had an appointment to go to New York to get three. <laughs> like literally at once and I was so mad I wanted to get so many more I was thinking about getting like a half sleeve um girl I don't even want to think about it but the one thing that I have been able to work around is piercings so hopefully I can get this bump figured out and hopefully it's not actually because I got the piercing that it has that bump like because of my body and the way that it works hopefully it's just a normal good old-fashioned piercing bump and I can get rid of it with Miss H2 Ocean. But anyway, this just came in the mail, so that's why I talked about it. Enough of my rant. If you guys have any tips and tricks on how to heal piercings, just no peroxide. Somebody already told me to use peroxide and I have read multiple things about how we should not be using peroxide. So I will not be doing that. I haven't gotten that desperate yet. The most desperate I'll get is just take the earring out completely, but I really don't wanna do that because I love, it's like my favorite piercing right now is my days. I love it. I love the way that it looks. So I really don't wanna give up on her. Like. H2 Ocean, start oceaning, girl. Time for a grocery haul. Let's start with Trader Joe's. First thing, got some roses from Trader Joe's. Always get my flowers from Trader Joe's. Got some spinach and lettuce. I usually mix these two together to make my salads. I'm a pretty simple girl when it comes to greens, and I don't really like eating them, so it's always nine times out of 10 inside of a salad, if not a smoothie. She's a salad girl. Pineapple juice for more reasons than one, baby. Yeah. And then you got tomato soup and I got some almond breeze. I normally just have this with my cereal, so I'm not really phased about whether it's unsweet or not. I got some chicken strips, <laughs> grilled chicken strips. I usually put this in my salads. Goddess Trader Joe's dressing that I already had in the fridge. Love this stuff. This with some chicken and some romaine lettuce. 
Second Trader Joe's bag. Double trouble with the orange chicken. And I've said, I don't want to talk about it. I got two of these two. These are the fettuccine Alfredo noodles, but I already opened one for dinner tonight, so it's halfway gone. This I saw on the aisle and I wanted to try it out. It's just gluten-free breaded shrimp. I'm not gluten-free, but this is the one that intrigued me, so I want to pick this up. This is a re-up as well. I didn't talk about it in the beginning of this video, but it is chicken chow mein, low-fat. I don't really know how healthy or unhealthy this is. All I know is when I'm broke and hungry, Miss Chicken Chow Mein has always had my back. And then lastly, even though I have literally so many backups of this, I always get at least one Jasmine Bryce when I go to Trader Joe's because it's always sold out and you just never know about her. So had to pick her up. Next from Whole Foods, and I'm gonna be honest, Whole Foods is not expensive, which you probably already know, but I spent almost the same amount at Whole Foods that I did at Trader Joe's. First thing, as y'all saw, that bakery section looked very, very enticing, and I just finished dinner, so I will be having one of these after I turn this camera off. This is, I think, the birthday cake and the cookies and cream cupcake, I believe. I'm really excited to try these out. I got this because I'm pretty sure I saw Cody Co. drinking it, and that's literally the only basis of me getting this drink. This is the Yerba Mate? Mate? I'm not really sure. I think it's just like a healthier energy drink, and I've been drinking Red Bull, so... Maybe this is better? I don't know. Next thing I have is apple cider vinegar. I need this for a mask that I need to do. It's like the Amazonian clay. I believe it's Amazonian clay or Aztec something. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's a mask for your hoo 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 and it's to help like lighten dark marks, um, overall smoothness of the skin. And I'm a person that gets waxes a lot. I saw on Amazon underneath the reviews for the actual mask that I bought that it is better to mix it with apple cider vinegar. Also, apple cider vinegar is just good for your body. Um, so got this for multi-purpose use. I got this Virgil's um, vanilla cream soda. I already like their root beer and I love cream soda. So I just got the Virgil's cream soda to try out. And then I got this Sweet Joe tea. Never had Joe, never heard of Joe. I'm excited about his tea though. This is the first thing that I saw in Whole Foods that completely caught my eye and turned me on to the whole store. I love the whole store. The whole vibe in there was just giving rich. But this is shrimp spring egg rolls. My childhood best friend put me onto shrimp egg rolls when we used to live together in college. I haven't stopped eating them ever since. So when I saw that they came in a frozen version, <laughs> Next thing, I've been looking for these for a hot minute. These are basically like pre-packaged acai packets. And if this works like I want it to work, I will be saving so much money from acai restaurants and little bowls and fruit shops. If you guys saw the beginning of my fitness account on Instagram, I was obsessed with acai bowls because I never had them. I just kept buying them every single day. And I was spending like $10 every single day on acai bowls. So if I can DIY this, it will be good for my wallet. Next thing I got is some cold brew. Uh, it's by the brand La Colombe, I think. Um, last time I had like a pre-made version of their cold brew, I did not like it. So I don't know why I got it again, but Honestly, the main reason why I got the cold brew is because I really wanted to try these nut pods out. I hear Remy Ashton talking about these nut pods 24-7, all the time. Emma Chamberlain, everybody that drinks coffee on the internet that I watch has been talking about these nut pod creamers. And I'm like, sis, I can't find them anywhere. Whole Foods. A cinnamon swirl one, which nobody was talking about, but it sounds really good. And this one is the cookie butter one, which is the one that Remy Ashton always talks about. So I'm excited to try these out. And hopefully, even if this is trash, this will make up for it. <laughs> this is strictly because I was curious. This is Good Belly Probiotics and Blueberry Acai Flavor. It says it helps with fatigue, diarrhea, bloating, cramping, and constipation. We love that. And as a person who always seems to have some sort of stomach problem, mostly nausea, I didn't see anything about nausea on here, but um, what is that on me? Is that from this? Ew, y'all weren't gonna tell me there's something on my jacket. And then the last two things, I strictly got this because I keep seeing Haley, her name's Bebe Hey on YouTube. I see her talk about this all the time. And I see her go to Whole Foods all the time. And like I said, this is my first experience. So I was just dibbling and dabbling in everything. This is almond milk, never had it. Don't know what it's like, I'll let you guys know. But I literally got it because Haley talks about it and drinks it all the time. And the last thing I do know a thing or two about, and that is Miss Immunity Booster, Immunity Shots, okay? I have a couple of ginger shots in there. I normally get them from Trader Joe's, but I saw this one at Whole Foods, so I picked it up. This is the Vive, or Vive. I've had these from Target before, they're pretty good. This is the Cayenne Ginger and Turmeric. Anything with ginger in it, sign me up. 
Ginger just revives the soul. It's just, it's just doing something that the other girls are not doing, okay? Get you a ginger shot. But that is my grocery haul, and that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I really enjoyed vlogging today. And I'm loving this like new evolution of my content. I'm loving it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. And now I'm going to rearrange my fridge because it's really sad in there. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.